The history of a movie theater in Acton dates to the early days of film all the way back to 1909. The first documented movie theater in Acton was the Wonderland Theater, which was owned by Russell L. Gregory. That theater was located for a number of years at 7 Mill Street East, featuring many silent films with actors and actresses who included Charlie Chaplin, Mary Pickford, and Buster Keaton, among a long line of others within the many genres such as adventure, horror, and comedy. Later, the theater would show many Hollywood films that would include sound by the 1920s, eventually followed by color in the 40s and 50s. By 1948, Gregory moved his theater across the street to new facilities at 6 Mill Street East. The new theater was named the Roxy and offered more seating and a larger screen as the building was constructed using a dome-type hangar that was left over surplus from World War II that had ended three years prior. The Roxy saw much success for quite some time, with the showings of many films daily, along with Saturday afternoon matinees for the kids, featuring a kid-friendly film such as Walt Disney's The Living Desert, along with a selection of animated cartoons. While business was relatively strong during the 1950s, attendance began to dwindle due to the opening of other theaters in neighboring towns and the advent of television, eventually causing the Roxy to close in 1961. The building would then be used for various venues and still stands today. Despite there being no more theaters in Acton, the Roxy still remains fondly remembered by the many residents of Acton who got the chance to attend during the golden age of film.